Hi, this is Sean Chua. Welcome back to SimpleCamConcepts.com. Now, in the previous videos, I have discussed on the physical properties of metals and how it's related to its chemical structures. I've also discussed on the chemical properties of metals and how it's linked to the reactivity series of the metals. In any case, if you miss out on those videos, do go and watch them accordingly because they are very, very important for you to understand and truly appreciate what I'm going to discuss next in this video. Now, in this video, we simply only have one concept we're going to discuss with regards to metals. It's known as the metal displacement reactions. All right? So let's take a look at this reaction. Now, metal displacement reactions is based on a key concept which is the more reactive metals can displace the less reactive metals from their salt solutions. All right? A very simple concept which you will be asked to apply over and over again in examination questions. So, i give you an example. Iron, when you put into copper 2 sulfate solution, iron being more reactive than copper will displace the copper metal out of its halide solution, or rather uh, displace it out from its copper sulfate solution. So, uh, you will then get iron 2 sulfate, FeSO4 equals, and you will also then have your copper being displaced out, right, as a solid. So this is metal displacement reaction uh, equation, and in terms of observation, all right, this is what you're going to see. Initially, you start with a beaker of copper two sulfate. It's blue color solution, all right. It's a blue solution, and once you add iron into copper two sulfate, it will displace the copper out, the copper ions. And then you get iron 2 sulfate solution. And this exists as a green solution. And the copper metal that has been displaced out, normally you see them as a uh, reddish brown solid. Let me just write it down. As a reddish brown solid. Or sometimes we say it's pinkish, all right? Because when it's uh, freshly formed at time, uh, the copper is kind of pink color until it reacts with the oxygen atmosphere and then it will start to uh, become reddish brown, right? So sometimes we say it's a pinkish solid. All right, so this is a metal displacement reaction, okay? Now, i give you an example. Uh, in the exam, you will be um, uh, frequently being asked uh, uh, on, on the table like this, right? When you add a series of metals into a series of um, so-called salt solution, whether there is a displacement uh, reaction at all. So it's very easy, let's run through it. Three metals here and uh, the three salt solutions. So magnesium and add to magnesium sulfate solution because they have the same metal, all right? There will not be any displacement. So I'm not going to do anything to it. But when you add magnesium into zinc sulfate, magnesium being more reactive than zinc will displace zinc out, all right? and become magnesium sulfate and then your zinc metal. So there will be metal displacement reaction. Same thing for magnesium with copper 2 sulfate because magnesium is more reactive than copper. And what about zinc? Zinc metal is different from magnesium obviously in magnesium sulfate, but zinc is less reactive than magnesium sulfate. All right? So we will not be able to displace the magnesium out. So there is no reaction at all. Zinc with zinc sulfate is the same metal, no reaction again, but zinc this time around can displace the copper out from copper sulfate. What about the last one, copper? Copper less reactive than magnesium, cannot displace. Copper less reactive than zinc, cannot displace. Copper is the same metal as the metal ion in copper 2 sulfate, which is copper, so again there is no reaction. All right? So there is one type of question that you like to ask you in examination, right? So take note. Now, uh, there's a special mention uh, with regards to metal displacement reactions. As we saw uh, earlier, usually we are talking about a metal that's added into a salt solution, right? And we see whether there's displacement. Uh, but I wanted to know there is also displacement when uh, you put a metal and a, a metal oxide together all right, and uh, the metal is more reactive than the metal in the metal oxides. They will also be displacement, right? Uh, but this reaction, you require something 
you need heat, all right? You need heat energy for it to occur. So let me give you an example. If I add a zinc metal, all right, into say copper oxide, and if I have a fuse that I can ignite it, so basically I have something that can burn inside and provide heat energy and it's hot. So normally we use triangle over here, right below the arrow to signify, uh, to show that there's heat. Um, the zinc will then be able to displace copper from its metal oxide because zinc is more reactive than copper, right? So what you get is zinc oxide and copper solid. So the copper has been this place, all right? So this is what I'm going to share with you uh, today on the metal displacement reactions. Once again, it's a very, very important uh, concept in the chapter called metals. Do um, you know, revise and review the video all right? as many times as you want and try out more questions on your own in order to perfect this concept called the metal displacement reaction, right? Huge, very, very important, right? And with that in mind, uh, I think that's all uh, from me today. This is a short video and I really hope you enjoy yourself. Uh, if you'd like to receive more videos uh, from us, do subscribe to our channel uh, by clicking the button below, all right? And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you and good luck.